Hi guys, my name is Megan, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I make my own magnesium whipped body butter. I absolutely love using this lotion and I put it on, I love to put it on every night before bed. It helps me sleep so much better and especially when I'm pregnant because I get some really bad leg cramps when I'm pregnant and magnesium seems to do the trick for me. So many people are deficient in magnesium. It's one of the main things people are deficient in. And one of the best ways to use magnesium is topically, like letting it soak into your skin. Because oral magnesium, like the magnesium powders that you like dissolve in water and then drink, they're only like 35 to 40% effective. And so experts often recommend using something like this where you apply it topically instead because it your skin will soak in as much as your body needs but not soak in too much that you get diarrhea or something so you're not going to be eating too much magnesium so this is my favorite way to do it plus when you're making a body butter you're just getting all the other benefits of the oils and the essential oils which I always love adding essential oils to these so let's get right into this recipe the ingredients you'll need are magnesium oil, and you want to find a really nice high quality magnesium oil. I'm using Ancient Minerals, and this is actually a spray, but you can unscrew it and pour out the oil and use it in lotion. So you could just use this and spray it right on your legs or wherever you're going to apply it, and that'll work just fine. It's a lot easier than making the lotion, but I personally like having a lotion. Shea butter. You can also use cocoa butter or even mango butter, but I have shea butter on hand from all the other lotions and stuff that I make, so that's what I'm using. Coconut oil. And I have some essential oils. I really like to use lavender and frankincense. So first, you're gonna use a double boiler. I'm just actually using a pot with water with my metal KitchenAid bowl in it, and that's gonna be my double boiler for this. So you're gonna measure out a quarter cup of coconut oil and a half a cup of your shea butter and melt them in this double boiler. And then you just let it cool at room temperature until the mixture starts to get kind of cloudy and the oils are starting to come back together a little bit. And then you're going to slowly add your quarter cup of the magnesium oil and your essential oils. I'm going to do 15 drops of lavender and about five drops of frankincense today. But you can play around with whatever essential oils you want and the amounts you want to add to them. That part is totally flexible. And whip it up, I'm just using my KitchenAid. And then you're just going to set it in your refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's in a semi-solid state. You want to still be able to like push through with your finger, not have it all the way solid. And then you're going to go whip it up and having it be mostly solid like this is going to make it really nice and fluffy and make it all come together. I found that when I try to make this and I just heat up the oils and then I add my magnesium oil and then I just cool it like that. Magnesium oil doesn't always incorporate into the oils and stay incorporated and then I find I have like liquidy magnesium oil and really solid coconut and shea butter and it just doesn't work very well. So I really like whipping it for that reason especially. And then you scoop it into glass jars and you can store it out at room temperature. The oils might start to melt if your house is above 70 degrees and it might not stay as a really nice whipped body butter. So you can keep it in your refrigerator if you like. and. It'll be a little bit more solid when you go to use it, but it'll melt as soon as you start rubbing it into your skin. And that's all you need to do. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys and you enjoy this lotion as much as I do. It has helped me so much with this pregnancy. I have a lot of restless leg syndrome and cramps and different things, and this really, really helps a lot with that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.